All right, guys, we got it sanded, we got it power washed. Now I just gotta let it dry, and we'll come back and paint it. So, see you then. Something tells me that this wind is going to take this canopy and throw it right into my paint job. So something tells me that. I don't know why, it just does. Make sure the eight, the air compressor is on.
trying to make sure I don't have any holidays on there. Freaking bugs get in the paint already. So we'll wipe it off. do some weird shit. Gotta love it when people pull into your driveway, stir up dust while you're painting.
Oh yeah. Kind of glad I didn't go with the red. Get a little run right here. I went a little thick with the paint because I kind of messed up. It'll be alright. We'll rework that later, I guess. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Hmm. All right, guys, check it out. Got all the tape and paper and everything off of there. I think it looks cool. One thing I don't like is all that damage right there. But we'll talk about that. There's damage right here along this rivet line right here. That's the bottom of the floor. And so we could actually cut off a bunch of that damage. The worst stuff down here, we can cut that out <clears throat> and actually put a toolbox right there just to get rid of that and make it look a little better. But I'm not in any hurry to uh, to get a toolbox or anything put on there right now. Um, so what I'm kind of thinking here is this rub rail on the bottom will end up painting it the same as that right there along here <clears throat> and then that's going to come up over the wheel well and then as it comes over we're going to widen it out and bring it out like that to give it the illusion of like the uh, uh like a fender on a motorcycle uh if you will so i think that uh painting it white will really kind of detract from really seeing that damage it's not going to you know pop out at you near as bad <clears throat> and another thing <clears throat> is <clears throat> and another thing is I'm actually uh, getting a pinstriping brush in uh, either tomorrow or the next day. I think it's Monday so tom tomorrow's Sunday it'll be Monday uh, but anyways by the time you guys see this video I'll already have it right it's going to take me a while to get this video edited and put out there for y'all um, but anyways, I'm getting that pinstriping brush and we're going to use some International Harvester Red uh, to do some pinstriping and stuff on here. We're going to do some really cool accents above uh, the windows and in between the windows and everything. Hopefully I can pull it off. Uh, I'm going to have to do some practicing <laughs> on my pinstriping. So I've never tried pinstriping. Um, I know there's... Uh, Jason Crocker, uh, he kind of inspires me a lot. He probably doesn't realize how much he inspires me, but I watch his videos and stuff, and he's always saying stuff like, you know, get out of your comfort zone and everything, and you know what? Every now and then, I do get out of my comfort zone. That is how I have managed to get where I am today. Uh, you know, building a bus is out of my comfort zone, right? It, it's just, it's something I've never done before, right? And so it's something I'm doing, and then I want to take things to the next level, like the pinstriping and stuff like that. I know I get a lot of comments from people, emails and stuff, uh, asking me, you know, what my deadline is on building this bus out. Guys, I don't have a deadline and I'm not going to set a deadline. I absolutely refuse to set a deadline because I don't want to screw this up. Okay, this is a bus that I plan on keeping probably forever. Uh, I might sell it. Uh, depends on uh, if someone was to hit me up and say, hey, I'll give you X amount of dollars and, and if it sounds really good at the time, I might take it, right? Um, but anyway, so that's one reason I want to put as much into this bus as I can, not to, you know, make it like an overpriced school bus uh, or RV or anything, but this is, this is Freedom One, guys. This is me re trying to regain my freedom, okay? Uh, to where I can sell this house, right? Get out from underneath that mortgage so I don't have that monthly mortgage to pay anymore. I can live in this bus right here. I can travel, go anywhere I want. And who knows, maybe uh, if, if I was to sell the house, maybe that could help me uh, have enough money to reinvest into a forever home property. Uh, this property here is just a little over two acres. 
most of it is a steep hill in the backyard which is virtually unusable other than like for hunting or you know harvesting trees and you know stuff like that um, but pulling a log big log up that hill eh, is not something I, I really want to do anymore um, so anyways this right here is me trying to regain my financial freedom my freedom you know in general in life and everything uh you know this is 100 percent paid for okay and nobody can foreclose on this no one can take it away from me um as you guys probably know if you've followed my channel for a while uh since the cv thing and everything losing my job and everything was really worried that i was going to be losing my house and that is what kind of prompted me to get the school bus and uh so far we still have the house uh it's it's a struggle right it is a major struggle and hopefully i don't fail um but anyways there's light at the end of the tunnel i guess <laughs> and freedom one schoolie is turning out pretty stinking nice i think it's gonna really make people's jaw drop when they they see the, the when they see the final product it's gonna take me a long time to build this i think um because of money and stuff like that now you know who who knows maybe maybe one day i'll hit the lottery i mean it's kind of hard to hit the lottery if you don't play the lottery right but anyways uh maybe one day i'll, I'll just have the funds and be able to you know quit my job and work on this thing full time and get it done a lot quicker uh, a lot of people have also asked about the wheels if i was going to paint those uh no i'm not going to paint these rims um i'm actually planning on getting some alcoa aluminum wheels put on here that's just when i get that done guys it's going to majorly transform the way this bus looks uh getting rid of those old steel wheels and putting some aluminum ones on there is going to be a game changer so anyways there she is let me back up here a little bit for y'all so you can get a big wide angle view uh, freedom one and what she looks like right now i think the next thing is going to be working on the hood getting it sanded and ready to paint oh man it's going to be beautiful i really love it look at that just look at that i did that guys i did that right there out of my comfort zone already and i'm going out of my comfort zone even more because I'm going to be doing the pinstriping above the windows, in between the windows. Uh, we're going to make this thing really nice, really fancy looking. When you see me going down the road, you'll be like, hey, that's Hood's Custom Shop. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm looking for, is for people to recognize this bus and be like, wow, look at that. That guy just had a dream, and one day he went for it. And you know what? You can too, guys. You can too. Trust me. I am paycheck to paycheck, getting this thing built out and still paying the old mortgage on the house and everything. I'm gonna tell you something, it ain't easy, it's rough. And uh, I work really hard for everything I got, working really hard to uh, turn this into something that I think is going to be a game changer in my life. And I wanna encourage you guys to take the steps that you need to do to uh, make your dreams come true also. So, you know. I'm not trying to show this off or anything be like, oh, look at what I got and all that kind of stuff. I'm trying to show people that, you know, even in the face of adversity, you can get out there, you can make it happen. You just have to buckle down, work hard. You got to stay focused on your goals. Now, I tell people I'm not setting a, 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 a deadline or anything like that on this bus build because I'm not. I'm not going to do that. But... I still have goals. I set goals that I want to achieve this, you know, like today. I set like a daily goal, like, okay, today it's 104 degrees out and I want to get this done. Well, I ended up having to wait till this afternoon because it's crazy hot out here and I still got out here, still taped it off, even with the wind blowing and messing with the, the tape job and the plastic trying to blow off, the paper trying to blow off and everything. Uh, even in all of that adversity, I still managed to get a little bit of progress today. And that's what really matters each and every day, make a little bit of progress and you're that much closer to your goals. So guys, I hope this is a little bit of an inspiration to you. Get out there and do what you can to make your dreams come true. I know a lot of people that, you know, are disabled and stuff and they, they can't do that. But 
you know what you still might be able to accomplish something so give it a shot it ain't worth the uh, you know giving up so never give up we'll see you on the next one guys hope you like it if you did smash that thumbs up subscribe if you haven't done so already all that good stuff we'll see you later bye